All right, so I want to thank everybody for joining me today on Gentleman 1 Billion. So today we're going to be talking about algorithms. So what is an algorithm? <clears throat> I, I, I've always been confused about what is an algorithm. So you always hear about it. You hear about, you know, if you figure out algorithms, it, it, it makes your, your YouTube channel goes bigger or your, your website, you know. So they, everybody just talks about algorithms. So I checked on YouTube and everybody talks about algorithm and they're like scientists and they really don't explain what an algorithm is. So what we're going to do is today we're going to figure out what is an algorithm and how can it help you well pertain to YouTube. Since I'm talking about YouTube, we're going to see how algorithms can help your YouTube channel grow. <clears throat> so first of all, we're going to find out what is an algorithm. So according to Wikipedia, algorithm is a fit... It is a fit, finite sequence of well-defined instructions typically used to solve a class of specific problems or to perform a, a computation. Algorithms are, in, are used as specifics for performing calculations, data processing, automated reasoning, automated decision making, and other tasks. In contrast, a heuristic is an approach to problem solving that may not be fully specified or may not guarantee correct or optimal results, especially in problem domains where there is no defined correct or optimal result. So far, I'm pretty sure you're lost. I would be lost too. <clears throat> so like I say, it took me a long time to actually figure out what an algorithm was, uh, was and how does it work, right? So let's finish. So as an effective method, an algorithm can be expressed within a finite amount of space and time and in a well-defined formal language for calculating a function. Starting from initial state and in initial input, perhaps empty, the instruction is described as a computation that, when executed, proceeds through a finite number of well-defined succession slates eventually producing output and terminating at a final ending state. The transition form from one state to the next is not necessarily deterministic. Some algorithms known as random, randomized algorithms incorporate, incorporate random input. So I don't know. I didn't, I didn't understand nothing that I just read. It was all confusing to me. So what we're going to do is we're gonna figure out, I'm, well, I'm gonna to explain to you how algorithms work uh, for me or how I understand it, right? So just say uh, algorithm, how they work in keywords and how they work, uh, period. So just imagine when you're searching on your cell phone or you're searching on, online or something and you look up something. Say you go to Walmart and you search uh, a certain toy. And then next thing you know, when you go on Facebook or Instagram or something like that, or YouTube, all you see is just things about toys. Like say if Walmart, you just Walmart advertisements pop up on your feed now. You're like, dang, I was just searching for this. Or your email, so you go to your email, you open up your email, and then you see Walmart advertisements in your email when you didn't see them at first. Okay, so that's how the algorithm kind of works. So what it does is an algorithm is like taking a word that you put. It's like a keyword. So you take a word and it's like a magnet and it has attraction. It's like a magnet with attraction. So basically what you do is, so say you use the words uh, football. So you type in football. So everything associated with football is going to attract the football. It's going to be a wide variety. So just say... In your feeds, you'll just get all kind of football stuff. So once you narrow the football down, so say you put football and you put uh, Michael Vick, right? So now in your feeds, everything you do, you're going to start seeing stuff about Michael Vick. Football, you're going to see football, but you're going to see Mike, Michael Vick. You may see like the dog stuff that he was involved in, the dog stuff. <clears throat> so you're going to start seeing everything associated with Michael Vick. So technically, like I said, that's how the algorithm works. So it's like a, a magnet. It's like a word 
Well, as far as like with keywords, it's like a word that you put and then it attracts everything associated with that word. But then at the same time, so then it just feeds everything to you. So just say if you're into gaming, so if you if you if you search gaming, just when you go to your YouTube, uh, check your YouTube page, everything that you watch or whatever is going to come up on your page. And then everything that your them viewers watch is going to come up to on your page. So basically, it's, it's, it's when you search, say if you search my name, everybody who watches my station, it's their, what they watch other than my station is going to pop up. And then you can actually say, hey, I like that. And then you click on it also, right? So it's like a magnet. So it brings down everything. So just say YouTube assumes that everybody who watches my, my, my channel may watch somebody else similar to my channel. So what they do is they keep feeding you content as far as something similar to whatever you're, you're, you're used to. So like I say, so if you was making, starting a YouTube channel, how would you make algorithm work for you? <clears throat> so what you would want to do is whatever your keywords, you've got to find out the keywords. So just say if you find a keyword that. So there's a, a thing called a uh, vid IQ. So all these videos are not sponsored. These are my opinions and my opinions only. So you can find a keyword and you find a keyword that say like they have a, a high search keyword. So say algorithm. So say algorithm, a lot of people are searching algorithm. So for people who put algorithm in their, 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 um, in their video, that's going to pop up. But just say so many people are putting algorithm. Now you have to pick and choose. Who do you decide to watch? Who do you want to listen to? Who do you believe in and stuff like that, right? So basically, once you find the right keyword, it narrows down the, the, the search that people are looking for. So that's why if you find the right keyword, the algorithm is kind of like work for you. So like I say, <clears throat> if you look at, like, we're going to try, try an example, try a test. So uh, type in, you're, you're probably going to have algorithm things uh, in your, your feed right now. Type in like credit or something like that. So what's going to happen is uh, credit score and stuff like that. You're going to start getting all kinds of feeds from credit store, um, credit score uh, people and stuff like that. So then what's going to happen is watch when you go on like another social media platform like Facebook or something like that. You're going to start getting feeds about uh, credit you're gonna start getting ads about credit you know like type in credit repair so then what you're gonna start seeing on your youtube page when you're gonna see recommendations they're gonna recommend people who do credit repair so like i said you're not gonna be into credit re credit repair but it's just a test and then like i say after a while you're just gonna start getting a lot of credit repair stuff so what they they assume is that you're gonna like somebody with credit repair because that's what you're into and then they're gonna keep shooting credit repair people at you. And then it's not just credit repair, try cars. Type in cars, and then after a while, watch all your feeds are gonna be about cars, cars and stuff like that. So like I say, so if you wanna, like I say, kinda like utilize the algorithm to your benefit when you make your YouTube channel, your, your, your videos, make sure you put keywords that's going to attract the traffic that's just like say per se you make a video about business but then in your 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 your, uh, your keywords you put you talk about video games so what's going to happen is the algorithm is going to place your video with video games so it's not going to place your video with uh business it's going to place it based on the uh video what what the, the words say so now you're going to have your video placed in a video with video games with gamers and they're not going to like your video so they're just going to dis dislike your video and just pass it on up so like i say that's why algorithms are very very important because like i say it lets the youtube knows where to place your videos so like i say so i don't know about algorithms and science and everything like that but i do know how algorithms work on youtube so like i say so keywords do work algorithms do work and um, that's how you get the traffic going so like I said, we're going to get a body here. I hope that was beneficial to you. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And we're going to get into the, the next video. Peace.
Hey, we got success in the building. Uh, this is June, and he's on the road to one billion. Let's go. Hey, said this is June, one billion, and we gotta make it happen. Ain't no limit, no ceiling. One eight five five June billion. Success is what he wants. Make sure that you check the site, June one billion dot com. Hey, gotta feel him. Ain't no limit, ain't no ceiling. If you ready, then let's get it. This is June, one billion. Woo, June one billion. Hey.